In today's video, I will be covering what is in the uh, Android TV build, uh, what's working, what's not working, what I have tried to get working but isn't. Also, I would be showing you guys basic user interface stuff and how Android TV works. So it would be kind of a walkthrough and let's see how this all goes. So we'll wait a few seconds for Android TV to load. So of course you, the first thing that doesn't work is some uh, the TV part itself. So somehow the it gives an error saying the TV has stopped. But of course we can ignore that and continue uh, normally. All right. So as you can see, this is the main Android TV home screen and i have a couple of apps installed not all of them work so let's just first go uh, into something that works and that is youtube now of course when i click enter i'm using a keyboard of course i don't have a remote uh, or a mic attached so that i can use the mic but uh, let's just uh, go ahead and search stuff on YouTube and uh, and try to play a video so let's play this and let's see how it plays back uh, of course the video is not hardware accelerated so it uh, won't be as uh, smooth and as at, at a uh, as high resolution as 1080p but it will probably work so as you can see we have sound but no video itself I think I'll just So the video playback is not exactly uh, smooth. And uh, this app only kind of works. So let's go back to our home bay and see what uh, else is there. Alright, so we are back now to answer the question once and for all until any further updates uh, Netflix doesn't work uh, at all so whether it will be the hardware accelerated version uh, right now that is out to download or it is the Android TV one so that is because Netflix uh, needs 3D uh, GPU rendering for its user interface which of course is not yet available on the Raspberry Pi even with the GPU driver included now let's just go into setting and let's see how it's different from the main Android and what it shows so we have our network and of course it doesn't recognize Wi-Fi so it shows no Wi-Fi and Ethernet will show your uh, Ethernet stuff so let's get back and So uh, we have our apps. So if there are some apps that won't actually show up on the main screen, screen you can actually uh, check them out from here. So these are the apps that I have installed separately. Of course, we have the OpenGLES tutorial app that works. So this is the OpenGLES tutorial app, and uh, let's go back. And these are our, our system apps. Now, if you will see, I do have 
uh, I did try to get uh, gaps working so the Google apps and the uh, Google ecosystem working but I just cannot seem to uh, have the correct I, I don't have the correct gaps for this they are separate Google apps for Android TV and the other versions won't actually work as well so you do need that and I do have Play Store uh, it won't work of course because other Google uh, services and applications are not working so I am not currently logged in and that's why my preferences won't load and uh, many other things won't actually work uh, let's go back and see what else we have we have the option for daydream which I haven't tried yet so let's just see if it actually works so daydream kind of works of course it, there's no reason why it won't but uh, so that's daydream so this is uh, your storage and factory data reset and next we have the about page so there is system update won't work device name android tv on rpi 2 now even on the uh, non android tv version does show android tv on rpi 2 because that's just how it's built and uh, other stuff of course it w doesn't actually show the kernel version which is missing from here usually it does but it won't show right now okay date and time language all of these are the same things and developer options are uh, very limited so they are actually limited to uh, only a couple of thing. things of course there are uh, sub uh, options as well and I guess that's about it uh, what we have for uh, Android TV on the Raspberry Pi 2 right now uh, of course it will improve when once we have uh, support for 3D rendering but uh, not much uh, works right now uh, the user interface works fine and it's great if you guys want to test uh, I will be uploading a, a separate uh, set of files and not the whole SD card image because uh, the whole SD card image actually takes about 1 uh, gigabyte of storage uh, on cloud so whatever kind of uh, I usually use media fire so I don't have that much space left so I will be uh, uploading the a uh, collection of files that would include the system.img file and other kernel files uh, and bootloader files and I will be linking a video in the description uh, as well uh, for instructions to install those files so uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.